हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल एस एस इंग्लिश लर्निंग सेंटर आम शशि शर्मा हेयर टुडे आई विल टेल यू अबाउट द राइटिंग स्किल सो इन राइटिंग एक्चुअली द थ्री आर द मेन थिंग्स स्पीच डिबेट एंड रिपोर्ट राइटिंग टुडे आई विल टेल यू अबाउट स्पीच राइटिंग नो वॉट इज स्पीच अ स्पीच इज अ फॉर्मल एड्रेस डिलीवर टू एन ऑडियंस ऑन एनी गिवन टॉपिक it expresses the speaker's view point along with supporting facts and evidences it also expresses the view points of the others on the topic in fact it examines the topic from all angles both positive and negative now what is the format the format is in which you should keep in mind first the format includes a salutation and a complimentary close like good morning and the thank you it begins with a formal greeting like good morning followed by an acknowledgement of the guests fellow speakers and the audience it ends with a few words or phrases thanking the audience or even a plain thank you now then the second point comes the introduction the introduction has to be brief and catchy it could be an nc dot or a story story that catches the attention of the audience you can use even the slogans it could also start with a quote or a rhetorical questions did you know that dash 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 quoting statist uh, statistics and figures is another good way of grabbing the attention of the audience then the third point is body of the speech the body of the speech should be divided into clear paragraphs about 4 5 dealing with the different aspects of the speech the paragraphs should discuss the problems stating stated in the question the causes and the effects and finally the sol solutions each paragraph should contain a single main idea with supporting examples or evidence to prove your point don't mix too many points in one paragraph as that will confuse the reader each para should contain ideas that flow from one to another without this uh, digressing or uh, meandering into another point the ideas should flow in a logical sequence or order it can have a conversational tone with interactive expressions like uh, i'm sure you will agree with me when i say that dash 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 now it also has to have clarity about its purposes and who got the target audience is original ideas powerful language and humor all add to the impact of the speech use simple language and short sentences avoid the use of long winded sentences and difficult vocabulary always keep to the word limit mentioned in the question usually that is 150 to 200 words the last is conclude the speech reiterating your views on how to improve the situation and then either a suitable quote or even a simple thank you now this is what you should keep in mind for writing a speech i will be back again with another uh, video on debate till then bye be safe thank you